20th out of Granby, Connecticut. Going up against Eric Montoya, 12th ranked wrestler in the nation. Same record, the junior out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Montoya there with the uh, double digit ranking. But people think that he might be a little tougher than that, be able to go ahead and climb the ladder and be on that podium, be in the top eight, become an All American. Won both his matches, Eric Montoya, last weekend against Illinois and North Carolina State. Lost a close match to Corey Clark from Iowa 2-0. Yeah, he's been in some matches against some, some of the best guys in the country. He's been able to slow the matches down here with coming off of his knees. And difficult to score on. He's always been a real strong wrestler out there. Again, as you see, it's real difficult to get through on Toya's head hands defense. A lot of excitement here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. We've got Minnesota and Nebraska, two ranked women's gymnastics team competing right next to us. Nice crowd here. Yeah, it really is. I mean, we've seen these events here in the past, and you know, it's nice about the, it, it's, when I say, you know, get here for the warm-ups, it's true, these gymnastics ladies, they warm up for an hour and a half. I mean, they're going through their routines, everything, every apparatus that they hit, it's kind of fun to watch, they cheer each other on, and kind of uh, create some life into the, uh, the pre-match atmosphere. Halfway through the first period of 133 pounds, it's 6-0. Huskers after the first period pin by Tim Lambert to get things started for the Huskers. It's senior night. And we've got some seniors in the lineup as they come through, we'll recognize them. Next weight class, Anthony Abbott in, one of those seniors. Yeah, and here's, here's the difficult thing with, with, with Montoya. Not, see, how he has no, he waved at a shot right there. He doesn't really have his legs in a position when he's on his knees like that to be able to attack and blow through a guy, you know, on, on a shot. And, and he's, he's slowing the match down. And he stays in matches against really good competition. But, you know, when you, you, you're the favorite here, you, you, uh, you know, these matches also get bogged down because you can't get your offense up. Under a minute left in the first period, they have shot, but warded off by Montoya. A little attempt at a reshot. Nothing really getting through from a penetration standpoint. Yeah, and these guys get locked up. They're drops to his knees with the, the reach. A swing single there, a little counter attempt there by Malone. Montoya from Nebraska, a two-time NCAA qualifier. Right there, you know, with the new rules, you can work a guy, maybe take a shot, maybe get a call. There's not been much action for the officials to really call, just kind of a bunch of half shots by two guys, and we move on. And that's the end of the first period. We're taking a look at Malone, Dominique Malone, the Coyote Logistics No Excuses Impact Wrestler of the Meet. And it's not only because he has a good record there, 19 and 6, and has had a great career at Northwestern, but it's because of his leadership in the room, his leadership of the team, and his work ethic and leadership in the room. The Coyote Logistics No Excuses Impact Wrestler of the Meet, Dominique Malone. Well, that's an appropriate title here for that uh, recognition, no excuses, because, you know, again, like we said before, this program has been in transition. It's been plagued with injuries. It's been a, a turnover in the coaching position. That's why you need leadership like a senior with Dominique Malone. Exactly. And it's a nice slide-by attempt there by Malone. Looks like that act that's there when he's caught Malone on, or excuse me, Montoya on his knees. There's the shot. Gets, he's not able to get to the corner, and, and Montoya's doing a nice job there with the shoelaces flat, right? See, he's got that right you know, toe. He's, he's, he's basically pointing it out. He's moving it, gliding, keeping his hips down, his head up. You, know, you can see that the, you know, the, talk about the core strength right through that area here. It's, a, it's what you try to do to stay in there. Now the referee's giving him a long time to work this position for Montoya. He's got... Alone in a worse situation now on his stomach. He's trying to break that grip. Alone trying to go ahead and improve. Again, a lot of clock being wasted right here. 
and now he's able to go ahead and get below the knee as far as the grip and then stalemate call. A lot of time to work that uh, counter on that single leg for Montoya, but good job by Malone sticking with that. Good look at Mark Manning in his 16th season in Nebraska, the winningest coach in Nebraska Husker history. Over 200 dual meet victories for the uh, head coach, Mark Manning, also a staple on the USA Wrestling International scene. Of course, Jordan Burroughs, James Green, both world medalists. We'll hear more about that later. Yeah, it was a straight on shot there by Montoya, but he was able to go ahead and take him off. And I think that just because Malone was able to get to the shot right before that, even though they went straight off the mat, the referee, I think, correctly called it for his action. End of the second period coming here, and we'll go to the third period. And Malone will have his opportunity now. He'll choose down to begin the third period, trailing 1-0. He'll have his opportunity to tie it up or go ahead. Are you set, Green? Cover red. Montoya, you know, good solid rider, and the fact that uh, well, there's a caution. First caution on Green. First caution. Get a couple of cautions if you jump the gun before you're assessed a penalty point on the third caution against one individual wrestler. It's a penalty point. Tagliata, Kent Intagliata, the head official on the mat, accompanied by Doug Boots, his assistant official. Crossbody ride and a little roll through attempt there. The official right there to call the uh, one count. But in that action there, Malone got a little spread out. He's trying to work his way back up. Watch for that left leg coming in. It just came in. That's one opportunity that you have when you, when you get the guy coming from his stomach back up to his knees. Great opportunity if he has his knees flared out right there. Take advantage of the pocket on the left side and put the leg in. Montoya smothering him on top, doing a nice job with the ride. As you said, Jim, trying to get that left leg in. But this time, Malone catches his leg before it gets in. Yeah. Out in front. He's got to come to his feet because we saw it before. Now he gets the escape. So riding time will not be a factor at this point in the match. One point escape. It's one to one. We're in the third period. A minute left in regulation. If it tie, if it's tied one to one at the end of this period, we'll go to sudden victory. There's a shot and penetration by Montoya. He's got the bottom leg hooked him. Uh, he's just got to go ahead and push off with that left hand. All right, kind of clear his head. Here's how he's gonna push off with the left hand on the knee. He's gonna get the two right there. Two points for Montoya, the home crowd. Cheers its approval. Out in front, three to one, with 35 seconds left in regulation. And with the kind of ride that Montoya was put, able to put on at the beginning of this period, he uh, looks like he might be very tough to come out from under by Malone. No question about the, the, the leg on the left-hand side. He's pretty good at getting it in, but he's also pretty good at working the wrist once he has it to, to kind of secure himself. Roll through situation, finishes the period in the top position and takes away the win. All right, so Eric Montoya gets a third period takedown. He's won 10 of his last 13 matches and the Huskers go out in front 9-0 after two matches. There's your